back to the channel y'all in this video we're gonna see how good with this new finish ceramic three and one wax here do on my big boy and jeep monster truck jeep cherokee we're gonna just try to see how much gloss with the ceramic wax put on this one all right quick man see what it do all right let's get into it we're gonna hit this hood first now, let's get it ready for winter protection, too. It ain't got to be perfect because I don't drive it like that. So, I had it 30 years. About brand new when I got it. Yeah, I had my share with it. <laughs> like I said, I had it about 30 years now. So, you know I had my fair share with it. Even though it look, don't look like it's that old, dude. No, nah, it don't look that old. I had it about 30 years. And even though it looked very modern, then it's like a 90. I want to say this thing like a 95, 96, something like that. All right, let's buff it back off. Oh, I believe I had it about 30 years. Yeah, I got it like 96, 96. It might be about 94, 95. Cause I had it, I, got, I think I got it like 95, 96 when I got the truck. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that looks good. Look how that gloss has come out here. I try to keep some protection on it though. and keep the paint from looking so bad, you know. I don't like none of my stuff to get downright so bad. Look at how the ball is starting to slide. Just get right down, right slick. See Once you put it down on the paint, man, this stuff becomes slick. Look how it slides. You put that ball somewhere where it don't slide. That's the, that ceramic protection make it so slick. She slide right away, man. Like it ain't nothing. You can feel the slickness on the microfiber cloth. And how slick it is. So, it is very, very slick. For sure. Every time you move, you're stepping on the pine. Damn. Shit, man, get away from around here. Huh? Too many pine cones. All right, guys, when they hit this side here, they hit this side and see, uh, how much gloss can we bring it out here? Coming from the side. Alright. Put a little bit on the applicator. So I do a zigzag. This is the three and a one ceramic new finish. It's the new wax here. See that? It's ain't that old school wax that you thought you were dealing with. What I do when I use this wax, and so when I put it up there, I immediately get it off. I think it works best if you go and get it off. Because it's all in one anyway. But it seems like by the time you put it up there, it's dry. That's kind of crazy. Now, the work time ain't that good with this one. I'll admit that. It's dry by the time you get it up there. Good. See here? That's the only downside I see. You need to make it where you can work with it a little bit longer for us taking off scratches and swirls. The work time on it ain't that great. Dry up super fast, see there? And you need a wax to stay a little wetter than that if you really want to have a good working time with it. But it does gloss out though. Check that out. Gloss is out real good, as you can see. Okay, it does a good job on dark paints. Was well, glossing out and stuff. Oh yeah, does very, very, very good in that area for us glossing out. So we can hit that back door. Then it don't take much. You know, the door, as you can see, the half of the truck is 
is glossy and the other half is dull. You know, so it's doing a trick. It's actually bringing the truck out. All the thing you really would have to do basically just hit the tires and stuff. And once you hit them tires and stuff, you good, man. You good, man. It's going to look good anyway. You hit them tires real good, you know. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hit that back door. Spread a little bit on the applicator. Now, I admit, like I said, once again, in my opinion, the work time on this is not great. So that means by the time you get it up there, good, it's dry. It's dry. So, it's, you know, it's got pole working, pole working time to me. It's a good wax, but you got to go and get it. Watch this now. When I say it dry up really quick, go and put your effort into it and take it back off fastly. See here? Because by the time it hits up here good, you got to work it in fast. Because like I said, it's, it's like the work time is not that great with it. See here? Got to work it as fast as possible. And then take it back off. Okay. Add a lot of gloss though. As long as you know. Now, I repeat, the work time is not good. So as long as you know the work time ain't good, then you are alright. Alright, so let's get it back on. You gotta get it off immediately almost. Like 30, 45 seconds. works best that way to me I'm using Ryan direct sun too I don't know how that react with, with anything but I use what it is I'm using it in direct sun boy I tell you it's bringing that blue paint out look at here Look at it from the back quarter. See that? So there's much brighter blue, see? So it's definitely bringing it back to life. Real, real good. It's really bringing that blue paint out. See that? All thing you really got to do now, pop them tires and you good. Shine them tires up, man. Pop them tired. <laughs> what I mean, pop them tired. That mean put that pop on them, make them shine. Pop them tires out. Sure, you good, yeah, man. Anyway, we got about the whole size up for the quarter pounder. I come back, hit the tires. I want to hold you to ground. I don't like too long videos now. Anyway, I hit you guys on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.